Welcome to Comcast Newsmakers. We're on the campus of the University of Portland in Clark Library. So glad you're with us. I'm Ken Ackerman. You know, right now, 118,000 people in the United States are waiting for an organ transplant. Each day, 18 people die waiting. Please welcome Mary J. Hunt. She's executive director of Donate Life Northwest. And Tracy Hoyle, who's a volunteer and organ recipient. Thanks so much for being with us. Donate uh, Life Northwest. Now, what I remember is going into the DMV and signing up, and it was, it was easy as that. Exactly. All of those individuals who are registering mostly do it through DMV. In fact, 2.2 million Oregonians have registered to be a donor. But most importantly, in addition to that, it's helpful to tell your family as well as tell your friends. Have, have you heard any reasons why someone wouldn't want to become a donor? I, I, I can't think of one off the top of my head. A lot of times it's because people don't have the information or they just don't want to talk about it. It's something too far away or it's, it's about mm -hmm. death. And so we encourage people to talk about it now before an illness or before death, imminent death because it's a, an easier conversation because donation is all about saving mm -hmm. lives. Now, Tracy, you're not only a volunteer, but mm -hmm. you're an organ recipient, but not just one. Tell me about your story here. Well, in 2000, uh, I received my first heart transplant after um, what they called idiopathic cardiomyopathy, heart failure. And uh, so I received my first transplant in 2000. But this last year, I started to get sick again. And my doctors asked me if I would be willing to do another transplant. And, well, of course I would. I, I mean, please. It wasn't even <laughs> it wasn't on your even mind that thought. you'd say no. No. Mm -hmm. So they told me I would not only need another heart transplant, but my kidneys were failing as well. So I would need a double transplant. You were waiting how long for both these organs? Five months total mm -hmm. uh, in the hospital, 43 days. And how long ago was it that you just completed a 5K? <laughs> About three weeks ago. Three weeks ago, you just ran a 5K. Ran walked. <laughs> Ran walked. Yes. Well, I'm not going to get on you for walking for part of the way. It's an amazing story. I mean, people out there don't realize what Mark checking a box can do. And, and it seems so easy. I, I still don't understand it. Here's what I, another thing that I'd like to get your take on. Uh, recently uh, on YouTube, we saw a 10-year-old girl who needed a lung, and she, she put out a plea on YouTube, and it became national news. A lot of people said, well, she's not deserving. There are people on the list. True. However, wouldn't you do whatever it takes uh, in any manner to get what you need? I want to hear your perspective. Well, I think it's important to understand that when you are waiting, that time one day seems forever. And right now there are over 118,000 people just doing the same, waiting for that life-saving organ. And so we're encouraging people to register because one organ, eye, and tissue donor can help up to 50 people. And that's an amazing gift. Yeah. So it's really the, the whole premise is we need more donors. More donors result in more lives saved. And your perspective? Um, I went into it knowing that I'm waiting, mm -hmm. and if if my time has come to go, it's time. It's time. And um, I waited like the rest of the 118,000 people right. waited. I want to tell people how to sign up for this because it's not only the DMV. You can do it uh, via your website. Exactly. Which so, is? Uh, DonateLifeNW.org. And you can also, if you don't have access to the Internet, we can send out a paper form, and that's that is scanned into the registry. So there's basically three ways, through your DMV, your driver's license permit or ID, mm -hmm. online or paper. All right, thank you very much for joining us, Mary Jane and Tracy. Thanks for being here at Comcast Newsmakers. Make it a great day.